This is a multifunctional Tesla coil. You can also listen to music with it. So let's unbox it. First we have a user manual which contains all the instructions to use this Tesla coil. Next we have our main body of Tesla coil. Let's unwrap it. Have a look at it. It's incredible. Let's put it aside and see what's next. Next we have the power supply and a 3.5 mm audio line. Here we have a small neon bulb and a small package of accessories which includes two small neon bulbs, an iron windmill, a discharge needle and an iron wrap accessory which is basically a very thin wire. Let's have a detailed look at our Tesla coil. Here's the copper winding which is about 9 to 10 cm tall. Beneath it is a circuit board which houses many small parts and a radiator to cool down those two chips. Looks like these two chips get too hot while operating. On the other side we have a power supply input and an audio jack. At the bottom of the Tesla coil, here is a small fan to cool down the radiator. At the top of the Tesla coil, there's a small base where you can attach those small accessories like a discharge needle. Overall, the build quality is very good. Let's put this Tesla coil to the test. First, we will attach the power supply to it and install discharge needle at the top, connecting the power supply to the output and switching it on. As soon as we open the power switch, Tesla coil starts to work. You can see it's generating arc at the top of the discharge needle. Let's turn off the lights. It's looking amazing in the dark. Let's zoom in to the needle. The arc is looking like a bunch of tiny lightning which is shooting upwards. I wouldn't suggest touching this arc as the arc is so hot it can easily lit the paper on fire. As you can see the paper is instantly catching fire upon touching the arc. There are also other amazing things as well. When you hold the metal foot of the neon lamp in your hand, as you slowly approach to the Tesla coil, the bulb starts to glow. It's at its maximum brightness when it's nearest to the Tesla coil. Isn't it amazing? You can wirelessly lit a lamp without connecting it to a power supply. But keep in mind, it only works with gas containing lamps. This will not work with normal LEDs as they contain no gas. Tesla coil produces a high voltage and high frequency pulsed electric field. When the gas lamp enters this electric field, the gas in the lamp will be broken down, thus emitting light. The intensity of electric field decreases as you move away from the coil. That's why the bulb grows brighter when it's nearest to the Tesla coil and slowly fades away when you move away from it. Here's the other neon bulb. This bulb is behaving differently because every bulb contains different gases and each gas reacts differently. It's so cool to watch these gases glow. This is also very satisfying. Let's use other two accessories and see what happens. Let's first install the iron windmill accessory. Here it is. Let's turn on the Tesla coil. As you can see, as soon as we turn on the Tesla coil, it starts to rotate. One thing might have come to your mind, why is it rotating? This is because the arc emitting from two end is heating the air, making it flow. As the two arcs emitting in opposite direction, they are like pushing the two ends in the opposite direction thus generating thrust and make windmill rotate. Now you know why is it rotating. Let's put our third accessory to the test. Remove the windmill accessory and attach iron breath accessory. As I have told you before, this is just a thin piece of wire. Let's see how it behaves when we turn on the Tesla coil. I have turned on the Tesla coil. As you can see, it is moving in all the direction. Now it's making a circle like shape. Now it's constantly moving in a circle. You might ask why it is happening. 
let me answer it as i have told you the principle of windmill accessory it's the same principle that applies here as this is a very thin piece of wire it's not very stable the arc emitting from the end is shaking this wire here and there the constant push from the arc making it rotate in a circle when we stop the wire with the stick you can see how the arc is emitting in the form of tiny lightnings when we turn off the tesla coil the wire comes to rest as no arc is emitting it again starts shaking when we turn on the tesla coil remember i told you at the beginning we can listen to music with this tesla coil let me show you how can we listen to music from this you just have to attach the one end of the audio line to the tesla coil and the other end to a music output device like your computer and smartphone as i hit the play button you can listen to sound coming from it and i can assure you there's no speaker in it so how can you listen to music from this if there are no speakers let me tell you how it's working the audio signal from a mobile device is modulating the working voltage of tesla coil through the circuit when the music signal is input the working voltage of tesla coil will change with the rhythm of music thus affecting the intensity of air heated by arc resulting in vibration of air along with the music signal which which produces music sound wave and that's why you are hearing to music from it with no speakers in fact it's just working like a speaker making the air molecules vibrate you can see when i put my hand near to the tesla coil the volume of the music decreases that's because i am obstructing the air to be vibrated by tesla coil i have also noticed a strange thing when operating this tesla coil did you notice my smartphone screen it's just like a ghost operating my smartphone <laughs> don't worry there are no ghosts the electric field from the tesla coil might be affecting my touch screen that's why the touch screen is operating by itself this is also affecting my camera's touch screen as you can see i am currently able to change the setting from my touch screen but as soon as i turn on the tesla coil the touch screen stops working as if my finger isn't touching the touch screen that's a strange behavior but don't worry the touch screen operates normally when the tesla coil is turned off i hope you have liked this tesla coil you can also order it for yourself by visiting the link in the description or in the comment section make sure to check out that link if you have liked this video please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i will meet you soon in the next video bye for now